Everything around us is made up of atoms, with a nucleus of positive protons and neutral neutrons and orbiting negative electrons. Under extreme conditions, this can change. As matter is compressed, it transitions to matter composed of atomic nuclei. Atomic nuclei consist of subnuclear particles, quarks. Further compression breaks nuclei up into their constituent quarks. This is known as Mott dissociation. But where are conditions extreme enough for this to happen? In space, stars evolve differently depending on their mass. Small suns become red giants, which leave a planetary nebula behind when they collapse to a white dwarf star. Larger stars evolve into dense neutron stars, and very large stars become dense, inescapable black holes. By current estimates, any star over 25 solar masses is destined to become a black hole. However, some of the largest stars may follow a different route. Here, there are extreme conditions created by the star's strong gravitational field. This compresses the star's matter, creating high densities and temperature conditions. This star is a blue supergiant and has the conditions required for the transition from nuclear matter to quark matter. The supernova proceeds now as a two-phase event. Firstly, the core collapses and transforms to the nuclear matter state. Secondly, this proto-neutron star develops a quark matter core which triggers the stellar explosion, leaving a massive neutron star behind. Supernova events like this could be observable, consisting of two detectable neutrino bursts separated by a few seconds. The first from the conversion to nuclear matter and the second from the formation of a quark matter core. Such observations would prove the existence of quark matter in heavy pulsars and explain their origin.